All right, so anybody that knows me knows that uh, at any one time I might have several projects going on, and it, it's sort of sometimes feast or famine because I tend to once in a while go down those rabbit holes where I might try to work on one thing, and then it ends up being another thing, another thing, another thing. This is one of those times. I, I have three Optiplexes that I'm trying to get a 6500 or 7500 and 7700 homed, working well, maybe to test against each other, such, such, so and so. However, I ran into a little bit of an issue with one of them. Because I was in such a hurry to take the 7700, the i7-7700 out of one of these and put it in the better, uh, the better computer, the better Optiplex, I kind of left some things undone, which allowed the heat sink and the fan to you know, kind of swing freely in that box, and it bent a lot of the pens. Well, when I first tried to put them back together, or first tried to work on it a little bit, I spent about two hours trying to straighten pins back out. Got them to a certain point, but let's see where we go from here. Now one of the challenges to this animal, after I took out the 7700 to put it in the other box, I um, made a little bit of a mistake. You see, I um, didn't secure this cooler down back onto the, I didn't clean it, well, I cleaned it up, but I didn't secure it back down so that it wouldn't rattle around in there and maybe bend some pins, and I bend some pins. But uh, I think I might have gotten them all straightened out. If I, if I still have footage of all the bent pins, I will I will put that up here, but let's, let me take a look at this and see how they're looking now and what kind of shape we're in. As you can see, I kind of learned my lesson and I went ahead and covered it over. Uh, it's just paper towel, but it was enough to get it covered, so hopefully I won't be bending any more pins anytime soon. But let's take a look, see what we got. Um, yeah, we still might have a little bit of work to do. I have to take a look at that and see if, maybe I'll try the CPU first and see if I bent them out enough. But it was, it was really, really pretty bad looking in there when I did it. And I've straightened it out for the most part, but I still obviously have to do a little bit of work. So let me try to look at that, see if I can straighten those up a little bit more. And then, uh, yeah, put this, put this processor in and see if it works. Now, you might laugh at me a little bit, but there are three tools that I'm going to use to try to do this. Uh, yes, that is a staple. That is a razor blade. And what we used to commonly call a seven-level screwdriver. And that's because it was small enough that you had to have... Uh, basically a technical level 7 to be able to use this screwdriver to do any tuning. Uh, so th those are the things we're going to be able to use to try to straighten these pins back out. Alright, after spending about another hour on it, uh, I think I've got most of it. You can still see a little bit where it doesn't quite look right, but trying to zoom in with say my, uh, my phone or the camera, they look really, really close. There's a few that I don't know if I'm going to be able to get quite perfect, but I think this might be about as close as I can get. So we're gonna try that. If that doesn't work, maybe we'll try again, but yeah, hopefully this is uh, pretty darn close. Okay, at this point, all I'm looking for is a post. So we're gonna see what happens. I turn the power on, and hopefully I'll get some kind of post. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep, I got a post, so uh, I can carry on. I can go ahead and put some thermal paste and just go ahead and finish doing the rest of the doing, you know? and get it all set up. So, time to turn it off and get the get to work on the rest of the stuff. Got me some trusty MX4. Put me a little bit on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close it all up. And then we'll get on to the next part. So we're sitting in good shape so far. We can see that that i7500 is in there. The single stick of RAM that we've got so far, DDR4 running at 2400. We'll change some of these things out, but you know what? Uh, we got it up and running, which is more than I thought it was going to be after my carelessness. So in the end, this is a success. We did get the 6500 in the older box. I believe it's a 5040, Optiplex 5040. The Optiplex 3050, I believe it is, is the one that has the 7500 that is now working and confirmed, and we'll be able to do some, some testing on it. And the 7700 is in the updated, or I should say updated, but is in the better 5050, Optiplex 5050. Uh, that does have a little bit more capability on the motherboard, that does have you know, one or two extra ports, and it's it comes apart uh, the the outside of it or the uh, let's just say the case 
breaks apart easier. It's got the little spring-loaded thing where you can pull the side off, the front panel. Uh, it, you can separate all the pieces out of it. You know, just a, little, a few little extras here and there. It's a little bit nicer. Not a ton nicer, but a little bit nicer. So it needs the 7700. The other model gets the, the 7500. And, of course, the other one gets the 6500. Uh, we, we will start testing these a little bit. Obviously, that 7700 is going to do better than the two i5s but no, no harm in testing, right? But I had to get this out of the way first because this was a major flub. Trying to save myself a little bit of time and just like, all right, pull it out of here and not worry about it. I forgot about it, started moving the case around and then went back and realized I never secured that heat sink down and I caused a lot of problems for myself. So trying to save myself maybe five or 10 minutes cost me about three and a half hours total time. Lesson to be learned. And if you learned any lesson, <laughs> yeah, if you got anything out of the video whatsoever, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. I'd appreciate it. Uh, throw a like on it. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. I'm revamping a, a couple of things. I'm trying to get some other things worked on, but I have had some things get in my way. Um, we'll just we'll just put it like that. And uh, we're, we're dealing with those now. So we should be back again. And it seems like every time I try to get back forward, I go step... Two, was it two steps forward, one step back? One step forward, two steps back? I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. We're going to keep pushing forward because anything worth it is worth working for. You know what? And you guys are worth it. So that is all I got for this time. I hope you got something out of it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit me up on the other socials, all that good stuff. If you don't do any of that stuff, please just do me one favor. And that's be good to each other smile wave hold the door open say good morning something anything you might really be surprised just what small gesture on your part being kind and being nice on your part can do for somebody's entire day you might not ever realize you were an influence on their day but you were and you were important and i invite you to do that so uh obviously i've got other stuff working so until i get myself into something i got no business getting into which is a lot I'll see you later.